We are back with our second week of film. Let's hit the war chant for being undefeated. I wanted to take a look at Ezekiel Elliott in the offensive line today. So everybody hit the subscribe button because we're going to drop three film sessions per week. This is the first one of week two. Let's get into it. So let's talk about movement here. And one of the big talking points is, you know, pre-snap movement. I want everybody to hashtag this real quick. How about post-snap movement, okay? Let's just uh, run this play so we, can, so we can get a good idea of this. Uh, Jason Witten is going to go in motion. Boom, boom, boom. We're going to get some motion here. But let's talk about how the pre-snap motion works with the post-snap motion, right? Um, something I like to do is when I'm going back and I'm watching film, like, real thoroughly, I like to... When you see people moving, I want to see the defense and how they react to it, right? So first of all, let's get let's get Jason Witten moving. And with Jason Witten moving, you see these linebackers kind of move over a little bit, right? Now, we know the result of the play. We know that Zeke is going to be running this thing to the right, right? So if Zeke's going to be running this thing to the right, you know, this was a very Linehan thing to put Jason Witten on the right and guys would shift over to the right and we'll still run to the right, into the shift, right? That was a very Linehan thing to do. What I like is Jason Witten went in motion here. <clears throat> they were going to bring Coop, right? Coop's going to the other side. Oh, look look at all that. Wait, 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 wait. We see Coop in motion. One, two, three. Look at these three guys moving. Look at look at, look at at those guys moving. He, even this guy said, so, oh, what, what's going on here? What's, what's it? Oh, that's for a reason. Let's talk about post-snap motion now, right? Uh, we know Cooper's going to come back side. We're not necessarily faking the jet sweep to him, but we are just motioning to him. Take a look at Jason Witten. This is post-snap right here, and we really don't need Jason Witten to, to pull and kick this backside defensive end right here. We really don't need him to do that. But what that does is... You see, you see a little more movement from these linebackers there. You see Jason Witten coming back side. Look at this linebacker here. He's taking himself out of this gap right here. So we see this gap and all this green is clean. We got one defender there. Randall Cobb's going to do a fantastic, fantastic job blocking him. We're going to talk about that block a little bit later, though. But look at how much space we clear just by moving Jason Witten backside. That does a couple things. Not only does it get this linebacker out of this alley, boom, but we keep old ass Jason Witten away from the play, right? How many times last year or the year before that, pardon me, how many times the year before that did we see Jason Witten trying to block some defensive end front side, Jason Witten get whooped and the run play just goes to trash because Jason Witten got beat up. I don't want Jason Witten to be play side if Zeke's going to run to the right. I don't want Jason Witten on the right. Put Jason Witten behind. Put, put him in the back. So, sure, if he gets beat by this defensive end, cool. We run in the opposite way. Plus, Jason Witten moving there, it moves defenders with him. I think that's a nice little wrinkle from, um, from uh, Kellen Moore there, but... Um, then we're going to take a look at this Randall Cobb block. Fantastic block by Randall Cobb, man. Look, we didn't get the most yards here. We got like four, which is a positive run play in my opinion. But but my goodness, man. Uh, Leo, Leo Collins, good block over here. Take a look at your other guys. Take a look at, uh, let's take a look at Connor and Travis right here. Pardon me. Pardon me. Um, um, Travis and Zach right here, right? They're going to take this this a gap guy we always talk about a gap we're gonna take this a gap guy and drop him on top of the mic <laughs> come on look you know normally in these zone research or these inside zone situations one guy is going to end up blocking them and we're going to combo but somebody has to come off the block to block the mic linebacker no nah, both of us just we're just going to take them and just drop them on top of the mic we're just going to move the pile that's fantastic. We're going to move the pile. You're going to take care of A-gap. You're going to block the mic linebacker. We get movement. Fantastic. Into it. Um, if you don't know by now, and which you should, especially if you watch my videos, but some people are new here, uh, the one rule that I always go back to in terms of running the inside zone is that we have to deal with A-gap some kind of way. If, if it's if it's two tackles in A-gap, if it's a, a tackle and a linebacker in A-gap, if it's one person in A-gap, we can't have penetration up the middle. So every single play I show y'all today, I want to see how we deal with A-gap. And the second thing you got to do is you have to block the mic linebacker. If we do those two things, we're going to have a successful play on offense. Uh, rushing the ball, which is like, you know, four yards. So uh, we're going to run this thing forward. We're going to run this thing forward, and we're going to take a look at how our offensive line and Ezekiel Elliott did. This whole film session is uh, is not just about Ezekiel Elliott and how great he is, but I want to talk about this offensive line here. So we got 
three demigods on this offensive line, Travis Frederick, Zach Martin, and Tyron Smith. We know that. But if you listen to the peanut gallery, they'll have you thinking that Leo Collins and Connor Williams just had a terrible day. I like to judge off 68 plays, not six to eight plays, you know. Um, so you let the, you let those guys just, you know, watch the game one time and think that they came up with a true analysis. Or you can watch the film for yourself. You can really figure this thing out. Let's focus on your center and your left guard right here. We're going to combo 94 to 55, which is our Mike linebacker. Now, there's no true A-gap player. You can make the argument that 98 is possibly going to be giving us some kind of A-gap pressure here. But both these D tackles give us um, some type of worry that we can get pressure from A-gap. So we have to seal those guys up. But your left guard and your center here, we're going to combo... <clears throat> We're going to combo 94. Connor Williams and Travis Frederick are going to seal that up pretty nice. But you're going to see Travis slip and just sneakily cover up 55 right there. So that's 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 barbecue chicken all, all day, man. And then we got Zach Martin right here just uh, being Zach Martin. Just going to take care of this dude by himself. And Leo Collins sealing up the backside linebacker there. Um, this And, you know, like what I mean by by backside is that is that that Zeke was running to the left. So this play is designed to the left. So everything on the right is is backside everything on the left is play side right so um you know like this defensive end would be a play side defensive end because that's the play side but this linebacker would be the backside linebacker so leo collins blocked the backside linebacker right that's the opposite side of the way that we were going some of y'all knew that some of y'all are new here but um and then ezekiel elliott is special in a way that he doesn't get touched till right there he gets touched right here, but then he sheds this thing for an additional 10 yards, man. So you so you take this offensive line being great. You take Ezekiel Elliott being being fantastic. Young Kellen Moore being a gangster, getting his passing game where it needs to be. So that's less guys in the box, man. I'm so optimistic about my run game moving forward. Let's keep watching. Something else we uh, talk about here on this on this channel is that when running backs catch the ball, they turn into a runner again. That's something else that Ezekiel Elliott is really good at. And that's partially why we praise Randall Cobb so much is that um, he's a former running back. He runs the ball like a running back, so his yak is really physical. Uh, we take Ezekiel Elliott here. I mean, this is only like a two-yard completion, really. He caught the ball just two yards in front of the line of scrimmage. Uh, but once he catches the ball, he turns that thing into an extra eight or so yards. We know Zeke is great as a runner. Like, you know, Tony may be the better route runner. Tony's the better uh, catcher, the better receiver, sure. But Zeke is the better runner. So even if we're in situations like uh, like the, the Giants game, we know that, you know, Zeke was coming back to football shape there. But if we take a, take a game like the Giants game where we feature the pass more and we don't run as much, we can still be in situations where Zeke can catch the ball and, and you know, give us valuable yards. I mean, I really wanted to just highlight the offensive line run blocking but i mean even even pass blocking here the offensive line did a did a damn good job here tyron smith out there being a gangster uh make sure 90 ain't going nowhere connor williams who apparently had a terrible game according to you know the peanut gallery there um travis frederick came over gave him gave him some help on the on the back end didn't really need it zach martin nasty i ain't even gotta look at zach martin and leo collins even though you know, his hands got beat to the outside, man. Hey, Zach, uh, Dak Press got it safe, and that's all that matters. But uh, good job blocking the front. Good good job by, by Zeke. Good yak. Let's keep watching. My cable bill was way too high. I reached out to AffordableSticks.com. They sent me a fire stick, plugged that thing into the HDMI. Now I get unlimited shows, movies, and live TV. I'm a huge sports fan, so I love League Pass, Sunday Ticket, and I get the pay-per-view fights for free. That's something for the whole family. You can buy a fire stick for every TV in the house and still spend less money than you would on cable. That's AffordableSticks.com. There's a link in my description. You should go click it. Cut the cord. How about some pre-snap movement here? Sometimes we ain't got a pre-snap motion just to fool people or to gather information or exchange the vibes. Uh, sometimes we just want to get people the hell out the way. Take a look at these shoes here. These shoes indicate that there's a safety up there. Now, with this safety being here, imagine if he would have stayed there. Zeke's going to run up the middle right here, but imagine if this safety would have stayed there opposed to Coop going in motion and bumping the safety. Um, not outside the box, but right outside the tight ends there, right? Just, just imagine him making a play from up there, but instead he has to make the play from right here. Zeke's going to run the ball here. Zeke's going to 
get the ball here right up the middle. Just imagine Zeke running right there. If that safety was in better position, if we didn't motion Cooper over there, then that safety probably would have made the play sooner than that. But we gave Zeke a lot more space to work with because we moved him. Right? How about your offensive line? Let's take a look at your left guard and your center right here. Um, Connor Williams, the people said, had a terrible game somehow. I don't know. But um, we talk about A-gap players. We talk about Mike Linebacker. There's your Mike Linebacker. There's your A-gap player. So we're going to move this A-gap player. Travis Frederick didn't necessarily do a do, – you know, he didn't necessarily um, – you know, seal this this weak side linebacker here, right? He didn't he didn't necessarily get the greatest block on him. That's cool. But what's what's most important are my two rules. We move this A gap guy, we deal with him, and that's your Mike linebacker right there. Uh and you know Zach Martin is gonna do Zach Martin things and take care of that guy. Fantastic block by Leo Collins right here. We're gonna get him out the way and smooth sailing for Zeke. Oh, goodness, man. Hey, look, let's just ignore Zeke real fast. Take a look at your left guard and your left tackle here, man. <laughs> I promise I'm not campaigning for Connor, man, but just take a look at your left guard and your right tackle, right? Your left guard and your left tackle, pardon me. Boom, 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 boom. Pass him along to Tyrant. We're going to see uh, Connor's hand going to go free right there. Boom, seal the linebacker. Oh! As a line point right there, that's the kind of stuff to keep me up at night, man. I lose sleep when I see my left side doing things like this, man. And, and, and look at this. Look, look, look. Was that the A-guy player? Uh, not the A-guy player, but that is the mic. But, hey, got to block the mic. We did it. <laughs> Connor Williams did it because apparently he had a, a, a terrible game. What about you sending your right guard? What they do? Movement, movement, movement. Sure, we can do these things. What about Leo? How do he do? Hey, Leo did his job. I ain't mad at him. And Ezekiel Elliott? Of course he had room to run. <laughs> because, because, because we sealed everything up nicely, man. Hey, man, look, when you when you do things the right way, man, you know, nothing warms my heart more than people saying, yo, Vach, I hated offensive line. I didn't understand it. But I watched your video. Now I love it. I, I, I love that, you know, you know, comments like that, man, because, you know, football is to be loved on 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 every level. You know what I mean? And when these narratives get passed because guys had three bad plays, you assume they had a terrible game. But that, that that's porn. That's porn right there. That's that's combo blocking. Anyway, I'm moving on. Boy, y'all better leave my offensive line alone. Let me run this play so I can hurry up and rewind it and talk about it. We're going to talk about everybody on this daggone play because I'm, I'm just, oh, my goodness. All right, let's bring it back. Here we go. Um, first of all, Leo Collins. You know, teams like to hit us with this look, which is not smart. Um, three techs normally get one-on-one -on -one blocks. So in, in real life, you would want the three tech to try to pick on Connor Williams somehow, but – you don't want the three take just with Zach Martin like that because Zach Martin's fantastic. And when we get looks like this, as long as Leo Collins can seal the outside and create an alley like he did, and Zach Martin is going to be disgusting with whatever three tech is in that gap like he did, we're going to always have running lanes like that, man, every time. Uh, let's take a look at your center and your left guard who had a terrible game, apparently. We're going to get movement right there. Connor Williams is going to finish the block. I'm not mad at you. Um... Travis is going to move to second level, blocking 53. Disgusting. Let's take a look at your left tackle here. Another machine, gangster, sealing in 94. Your tight end is getting good work. Backside, Zeke is doing everything he needs to do to be great on his own. Listen, man. Listen. The receiving core is a strength. Our quarterback is a strength. Best running back in the second best running back in the league. Offensive line is fantastic. Our offensive line wasn't great last year. I was on a soapbox. People was calling me crazy. Then at the end of the year, y'all was like, you know, our offensive line was kind of bad. You should have listened to Vach. The offensive line was bad last year. But if we could do stuff like this, run the play, Vach. If we could do stuff like this, Jamez Olawale blocking 55. Stuff like this every time. Nothing's going to hold us back. Nothing's going to keep us away from the promised land. Nothing's going to keep my mouth shut and talking crazy to these cowboy haters out here, man. And look, I know a lot of people hate when I just keep rewinding and rewinding and rewinding. Take your ass to go watch some highlights or something. That ain't what this is. We watching film over here. Look at this. If you don't want to see this four or five times, you don't like football, man. Whatever. Anyway, um, this is the first, this is the first video of the week. Uh, I plan on getting two more film sessions out. Uh, probably do a live stream at some point. We'll work on getting a round table. I ain't making no promises. Maybe we'll see. We'll cross that road. We get there, man. But 
Oh man, feels good to be undefeated, man. We'll uh we'll keep breaking down this film and if y'all keep watching, I'll keep yeah, I'll keep doing them. All right. Um what's next? I I kind of want to take a look at Dak Prescott, man. Um you know, I know a lot of y'all were looking for the Josh Norman stiff arm play. I'll break it down as soon as I get it. <laughs> but for now, we got this uh we got this uh offensive line Zeke film and uh, I hope y'all watch it a few times and send it to one of your friends. Thanks for everybody that uh supports me. Don't hit the, don't forget to hit the notification bell and subscribe so you know when I drop these random film sets in the middle of the week just like this and follow me on twitter v-o-c-h-l-o-m-b-a-r-d-i y'all hold it down for the doski woski and the peace whiskey man salute canceling my cable i saved twenty four hundred dollars this year by switching to beast tv through channels for cheap.com some people pay 200 plus dollars a month i paid 120 a year or you can go 15 a month if that's what's convenient for you you get 2500 hd channels a thousand of those are in english and there are plenty of other international channels tv guide and we get all the sports one of my favorite things is this multi-screen feature so if i don't know what i want to watch i can tune into four different channels at one time that you can watch on four different devices and it's available on fire sticks smart tvs tablets and if you're on the go you can watch tv on your phone Hit the link in my description or go to channelsforcheap.com where you can get a free seven-day trial. That's a whole week for you to just sit down and play with it and see what you like about it. Then come back and make a purchase. If you have any questions, go to channelsforcheap.com. Hit this little button right here and they'll respond to you immediately. That is channels number four cheap.com. The link is in the description. I highly recommend it. YouTube Illuminati is taking money away from your favorite content creators and people often ask the best way to support the channel directly. I tell them that's subscribing on my Patreon. Just one dollar a month month would increase production and the frequency of uploads. Basically, that means more content for you. For less than a bag of almond M&Ms, you can support the channel, call dibs on requests for future videos, and you can have access to Patreon exclusive material like my throwback film sessions. That's patreon.com slash Lombardi. I appreciate the support. Doski Woski. Salute.